Before we start talking about protocol buffer and JSON we need to know a few things. What is schema? Schema is nothing but deciding number of fields, deciding data types of these fields, deciding which fields are required or optional, deciding default value for these fields etc. Why having a schema for your data is good? As mentioned above, having a schema means having control on defining data types for your data. So if you have control over deciding data type you have control over deciding how much space can be allotted, thus giving you the power to efficiently managing your memory. What is meant by serialization or deserialization? Serialization means converting any type of data into binary data. Deserialization means converting binary data to back to your data type. What is protocol buffer? Protocol buffer is a memory efficient and a faster alternative way for storing or transferring data compared to JSON or XML. It is developed by Google. Why protocol buffers are memory efficient? It's because protocol buffers store your data in binary format which takes up less space than strings or any data type. What is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's another way of storing or transferring your data. JSON stores data in strings, which takes up more data than binary data. Now coming to the comparison. Use protocol buffers if you want to transfer data quicker and in a memory efficient way as protocol buffer stores data in binary format. Use JSON, if you want to transfer data in human-readable format. Use JSON, if you don't like creating a schema for your data. From this we can understand that protocol buffers are a great solution for memory-intensive applications. So how can we create a protocol buffer? It's pretty straightforward. Define your schema in a file and save this file as with .proto extension. Next download protocol buffer compiler. Once installed, compile your .proto file you created above for your language of choice. It can be Java, C++, Python etc. For example if you compiled your .proto file for Python, then the compiler creates a Python file which will have functions, using which you can serialize or deserialize your data and then transfer between your web or any kind of applications. A link is provided in the description if you want to understand more on creating protocol buffers with Python.